come back to here, maybe. Nice and soft. Round to the back of the head. Maybe down a little bit. Today we're going to be following up on the actual Twitch Safety Advisory Council and obviously we've seen a couple of dramas where Dear Girl has said white supremacists, she said she has power and she can get rid of anyone she wants because no one can stop her. Well we're going to take a little look today at another advisory council member and that's Co Carnage. So this has come from the gamer. Co Carnage says he's flying solo on the Twitch Safety Advisory Council thanks to the Dear Girl drama. The drama surrounding the Twitch Safety Advisory Council has really shifted the focus away from its intended purpose, says council member Co Carnage. The Twitch Council was announced just last week, and even before they had their official meeting, the Twitch community has been in uproar over appointed council member Ferociously Steph. Ferociously Steph is a trans furry with some controversial opinions about voice chat, so naturally, she immediately became a target for harassment on the platform. Unfortunately for her, and our clip-driven community, Steph has been less than diplomatic about the harassment. The most popular clips of Steph's stream this week have included her accusing her opponents of being white supremacists, telling people they should be afraid of her, and bragging about her Twitch given power. So but I'm hanging in there, and uh, I'm not going anywhere. I have power. They can't take it away from me. And honestly, you know, I, the, the, these, there, there are some people that should be afraid of me, um, and that they are, because I, I represent uh, moderation and diversity, and I'm gonna come for hurtful, harmful people. If you're a really shitty person, I'm gonna stand up against you. Period. And uh, I'm, Twitch is endorsing me to do that, so. Streamers and viewers alike are pretty put off by Steph's comment and attitude. While she is often misquoted and vilified, like some kind of SJW boogeyman, she also seems to be acting self-righteously above reproach. According to some streamers, like Sumting, <laughs> Summit 1G, Steph isn't acting in a way that represents other streamers or the community. Fellow council member Kokanich has been asked to comment on the situation, and while he refuses to directly address Steph or her comments, he does admit that he's frustrated at how much the drama has distracted from the actual purpose on the council. I've made it very clear what my intentions are with the council. I'm extremely disappointed that the council has been made in drama about things that have nothing to do with the council begins co. I'm extremely disappointed at the current state of things. And with that, I can see where he's coming from, I can see why, because obviously this was meant to help people, this was meant to help the actual Twitch community. But when you have someone like Steph who is literally using it as her own agenda staked platform, she's saying, if I don't like you, if I even think you're a bad person, I'm going to get rid of you. If you sound like a white supremacist, I'm going to get rid of you. It's not exactly a great thing, is it? Because that is someone who's meant to be helping out all the communities for Twitch. So that means every single one, not just the people that Steph wants to cherry pick. Because by the looks of things, that's what she wants to do. It's not right. And when you have all the you know, fellow council members coming out and saying, yeah... We're just running solo at the moment because no one's getting involved because of what she's done. That's it. She has literally ruined it for all the other council members. What it is, they've literally, you know like the birthday boy who or the girl who had their party, but because something never happened that they wanted, they literally make a sour mood for the entire party goers. That's exactly what she's done. Because she's come out and said all this stupid nonsense, and all this bigoted nonsense as well, Everyone's like, yeah, we really don't want to get involved at the moment. We don't want to do anything with the council because of her. That's what's happened. 
Co has been outspoken about the inconsistencies in Twitch's policies when it comes to bans and suspensions and has joined the council in order to ensure fairness and transparency when it comes to moderation, which is exactly what it needs. I can see why the council was done, but the problem is, when you have someone who comes onto the council like Steph, and she has literally said, Gamers are actually white supremacists. Sorry. Just a fact. I don't care about the rules. Basically, my rules are the rules. And it's like, no, love. That's completely wrong. You're meant to help every single person on the platform. Not just your cherry-picked favourites. Basically, you and a few of your friends. That's what it is. Because, obviously, if one of her friends comes to her and says, Oh, so-and-so's done me, or so-and-so said that to me. To her, to Steph, it's going to be like, Oh, he's a white supremacist, get rid of them. That's exactly how it's going to go. But obviously with co Carnage saying that he's run solo on this, I really do feel sorry because he has been outspoken about the actual, the Alinti drama, Pokemon, all these, the ones who have literally done stuff, which would get other people normally banned or suspended for a while. They've allowed them to continue. But obviously, at this moment in time with Steph as well, it's a lot like, ooh, right, yeah, that's a little bit damaging. While it's reasonable that each council member would have their own agendas and projects to spearhead, it's unclear at this point what exactly Steph wants to accomplish with her role, other than punishing hurtful, harmful people. First of all, she's a hurtful, harmful person, because everything she has said has made her a target for everyone. Everyone's like, yeah, we don't like her because she said this about us. And she doesn't seem to understand why people are against her. She thinks now, oh... It's because I'm transgender. No, it's not. It's got nothing to do with her being transgender. It's about her saying, I have power. They can't take it away from me. And honestly, you know, I, the, the, these, there, there are some people that should be afraid of me. Um, and that they are, because I, I represent uh, moderation and diversity and gamers are actually white supremacists. Sorry. Just a fact. That's exactly why they're against her, because of what she said in those clips. It's strange, I'm telling you, it's really strange, because even with when we read out yesterday, the Twitch CEO who come out and done that statement, that is literally like, yeah, we don't, uh, everything she said, we don't stand by, but you can't do that to her, you can't pick on her. That's exactly what it is. They've literally come out, they've distanced themselves from her, but they've also said, oh no, you can't, you can't make fun of her, you can't harass her, but it's okay for her to harass others. We don't have all the background into how the council came to be or how the members were selected, but perhaps Twitch needs to take some responsibility for putting these entertainers into community leadership positions without any direction or guidance. The things Steph stands for have been completely muddled by the way she chose to communicate, and unfortunately, the conversation feels like it's over before it even started. Which, for the community council, it is. Because of what she has said, and the way she has made people feel. Because you have a ton of people on Twitter who feel absolutely you know, vilified because of it. You know, you've got gamers, literally all genders, all skin colour, it doesn't matter about any of that. She has literally said, if you sound like a white supremacist, I'm getting rid of you. How the hell is that even logical? But again, no, this is someone who is just using this push that she's received for her own agenda, stand on her own soapbox, and scream and shout what she wants to do. She doesn't care about the Twitch community. She doesn't care about the rules that Twitch have enforced. Because she thinks now, because she's a person of power in Twitch, and Twitch are endorsing her. Anywhere, I have power. They can't take it away from me. And honestly, you know, I, the, the, these, there, there are some people that should be afraid of me. Um, and that they are, because I, I represent uh, moderation and diversity. And I'm gonna come for hurtful, harmful people. She can do whatever the hell she wants, but she can't. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see all you wonderful people soon.